what's up guys so I know it's been a while but I have been extremely busy working on all y'all's last haul it was just such a big haul I haven't had time to go do the videos and I'm trying to pace myself because I want to get back and do two videos a week because I just love going to the Disney character warehouse so if this is your first time tuning in and you have no idea who I am. I am Liz. I am a personal shopper. My business is called Shopping Shopping with Character. I've been around a couple years now. I can't believe I've that's yeah, a couple years. Wow. It's just crazy. Thank you for everyone that has supported me and um ordered through me. I just really appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys want the inside scoop of when I shop and how I shop and how to get me to shop for you, uh, you can one, stay to the end of the video and I'll explain a little bit more of my process. Two, you can join my Facebook group, which is Shopping with Character. And um, I have a few thousand, seven thousand, six thousand, I don't know, a few thousand members in there. So, uh, you know, I have some great reviews on there if you're hesitant. Um, however, I do want to say this isn't a quick, quick process. It's not like you might see this beautiful Disneyland mask and you order it and get it tomorrow. It doesn't quite work that way, especially during this pandemic. Things have changed a little bit and I'm learning to adjust. Um, so I'm going to do a full video of 4951 International Drive. This is a smaller location. However, it's packed with lots of goodies. It is closer to Universal Studios. Matter of fact, it's right across the street from Universal Studios. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes traffic wise to get to the other location, which is 8200 Vineland Road. And that is actually located right across, um, not too far from Disney Springs, really, just right up the street. Uh, however, these stores are a lot different than your typical Disney outlet store. These are called the Disney Care warehouse and you're gonna see merchandise that comes from Disney parks only so it's a higher-end type of Disney merchandise and you're getting these items for 50 to 90 percent off and every time you go you'll always find something that you want I I, I, I dare you to go in this store and leave empty-handed it's absolutely impossible every time I do a video I have to pick something up um, only because I know it's probably either not gonna be there or I just love it or whatever the case may be also I have a lot of merchandise on hand you guys if you've made it this far in this intro I have some amazing dress shop dresses available I have some things that are not gonna be shown on the camera because I'm doing pickups in between my videos as well so anyhow let's go see what they have I'm so excited it's really exciting to see a lot of the ink and paint merchandise still in stock the plates, you can get four beautiful plates for $19.99. I would highly, highly advise not ordering the bowl or the large uh, serving dish, which looks like a paint palette. Those two items are very large, very, very bulky, and very heavy and hard to ship. So they have a lot of the merchandise still available. They were working the display right here. Obviously, you can kind of see. Uh, the canister sets are $12.99. The glasses are $12.99. The set of the plates are $19.99. They did have the ink and paint towels available. Those were $7.99. Those keep going in and out of stock, the towels. So some days when I've been in there, I've seen plenty, and some I haven't seen any at all. So that is up to you. They have this little tumbler, which is a really great deal. It's only $4.99. So super cute, easy to ship. The bowl itself is like five pounds. It's almost five pounds. It's ridiculous. The aprons, these are kids size aprons. They're super cute, but they're not adult sizes. So just keep that in mind when ordering. This is adorable. I cannot speak highly enough. It's Sorcerer Mickey, $5.99. I literally wanna buy every single one so I can get all the colors. They're so vibrant and I love them and I wanna get all of them to be honest. The Ink and Paint Easel set you just saw a minute ago, that was $12.99, those were magnets. And this is a cute little art kit, I believe. Uh, I think that's the name of it. I, let's see, I think I, yep. $9.99, it is a art kit. Please be very specific when ordering this because there are a lot of ink and paint items. $4.99 for the Onward plushes. As you can see, they have plenty, plenty, plenty of ink and paint merchandise in stock. Cheshire Cat uh, was $7.99, I do believe. And look at all the masks available. These are all $1.75, $1.75. Black Panther, you've got the Halloween masks, you've got Goofy, you've got Mickey Mouse, 
You've got Frozen. You've got Minnie Mouse. That's the red one. Tie-dye Mickey. Stitch. Toy Story. Pixar. And then the Christmas Mickey. And then the white with all, all over Mickey's Christmas masks. So many to choose from. And even the Spirit Jersey mask was $1.75, which was crazy. Such a great deal. I think that they're going to require masks for quite some time. So I would definitely jump on the mask bandwagon on this point. Now, I will have to say there were so many pins in the store. Oh, my gosh. I was literally freaking out. They had so many cute pins, limited edition. This whole in display unit was all $6.99. They were so stinking cute, so adorable. And as you can see, they can't. They come in the little box sets, I believe. Yeah, they were all $6.99. Now, one really cool thing is I'm going to go down here, and they had mystery pens. How cool is that? They had two pens in there for $6.99. I thought that was really, really cool. I was trying to figure out. These are the four that you could get. Stitch, Tinkerbell. I don't know what the lizard's name is. What's the lizard's name? I forgot. I don't know. Um, this was super cute. Super cute. Okay, that was just a pen. Uh, moving right along, food and wine tray is still available. I believe those were the newer ones for $1.99. That's only $2.99. Crazy food and wine mug. I can't believe it. The Queen of Cuisine. Um, these are still around $3.99. The little figment puzzle that you just saw was $2.99. Those are only $2.99. These, I can't believe they have them. Finally, $6.99. They have so many in stock. I did grab some because last time I had so many of you order these. These are ceramic bowls. They're so cool. They were $30 and they were out of stock last time I went. I think I actually only got like one or two of those. So, and they're really easy to ship. They're heavy, but they're easy to ship because they're stackable or whatever. So the stackable salt and pepper shakers and look at Chippendale. I grabbed some of those because I know Chippendale goes like crazy. Uh, the tumblers, $7.99, which I thought was really good for that one. These Olaf and Elsa cups are only 99 cents. I don't know where they came from, but that was a really good deal. $7.99 for this red Mickey tumbler, plastic tumbler. If you order these tumblers, if you can say plastic, or ceramic that would help in your orders because sometimes they do get in like different stuff but that's like the Hawaiian Mickey um, the orange one and then the pink one and yes we finally got these back in stock the set love is magical mrs. and mr. I knew have a uh, Disney enthusiast Renee she wanted both that whole set and I ended up uh, grabbing her the Mrs. because I think I have the mr. on hand so I did get that for you Renee if you are watching so moving right along, I haven't seen that mask because that's a new mask. Oh my gosh. Mug, $5.99. So tongue-tied here. Princess Tumbler, $7.99. Please very spe be very specific about that plastic tumbler because there's a couple other like different princessy things. I love this water bottle. Like the video just doesn't do it justice. It's so cute. Epcot water bottle. But look at all the pins. I'm so warehouse jaded because I actually paid for this one full price because I stayed at Wilderness Lodge. Uh, right around the holidays, but I'm not going to complain because thank you to Miss Caleb Binkley in Canada. Uh, we were able to stay there for free, which was absolutely amazing, wonderful gift for me and my family. But I was trying to show you guys each pen, what was actually inside of it. Uh, this, I couldn't believe. Look at Chippendale. I grabbed some of these because I felt like they would be gone really quick. They're so cute because everybody loves Chippendale, right? Epcot with figment, so cute. I was really struggling over here. This <laughs> this one was missing a pen backing and I, I found it. Wow, look at that. Horrible editing skills there. Boardwalk, <laughs> beach club. <laughs> the beach club has, that just makes me laugh how I just did that. Anyways, $2.99 for those ornaments there except for the Bermuda one. So I just wanted to keep going along with the pens because there were so many pens at this location. And I will give you a little bit of um, foreshadowing or a spoiler. I should say I did head over to Vineland Road after I did the full tour of this particular location. I just did an update video at Vineland this evening and I should uh, hopefully release that video uh, less than 24 hours after I release this one uh, just so you can see the differences. And they did have some pens, but nothing like iDrive. Nothing. Like iDrive, I mean, look at this. I just had pen after pen. I was just like, wow. Like, be very specific when ordering. 
They walk the Haunted Mansion pins and the Jack Skellington pins because there's so many different styles. Please be so specific and descriptive when ordering the Jack Skellington and Haunted Mansion pins because there's a few different uh, few few different ones available. So hopefully that helps when you guys place your order. Look at these, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. Festival of the holidays, happy Hanukkah. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then Chip and Dale again. And then we had plenty of those special pins that open up uh, for the different resorts. And a couple of magnets that have been sitting there like probably ever since the store opened. Um, <laughs> this ink and paint set, this keeps going in and out. I believe it's $15.99. That is $9.99, $14.99. I believe that one is $14.99 or $15.99. And this is new. I haven't seen this particular one. It's newer, $15.99. What you think about it? You're getting a lanyard and four pens. Really great deal. All the lanyards that you see here are $5.99. You have the Americana. You have Frozen and the Magic of Europe. Also, the villains, the villains, you guys got to get the villains one. What? Disney assorted pens. So all of these are $3.99. Oh, I was going to grab some of those and I forgot. Doggone it. Um, hopefully they'll be there when I go shopping again. But the Animal Kingdom one I thought was so cute. I was going to grab some of those too and I forgot. I got sidetracked, I guess. Or I, actually, I think I was in a rush to get over to the other location. But so many pens, you guys. And I just... I'm not a pen collector. I do have some pens and I do love the pens and I'm thankful because honestly, I will be very honest with you. I really love a lot of these pens. They're so cute and the price is so amazing. Like, oh my gosh. So $7.99 for these. Uh, they do have the Figment Flower and Garden. I can't ever say it. Topiary, to topiary, topiary. I don't know. I have a hard time saying that word. I don't know why. It's not a word I really grew up with. Topiary. Topiary, topiary, Top I don't know. Uh, so the Minnie Mouse, the wreath one is the one they had, and then the Mickey Mouse one as well. And they had some of the mystery collection boxes. I did see some of the princess collection boxes at the other location. They had like four, so I just grabbed those because I know you guys love pins, and I feel like sometimes those mystery collection boxes are a little bit harder to grab. Uh, they just go and they sell really quickly. So they did have a decent variety of like princess pens available. These were all $4.99, which I think is a really good deal for the pens. And then if you love Star Wars, there's just so many available. So please be very specific when ordering the Star Wars and or include a screenshot at the end of your order um, only because it'll be easier for a visual. And then uh, make sure you put them at the end of your order and not... Uh, like in the beginning or throughout the order so I can print out what I basically do is print out your order and work off that when we go shopping uh, and then the pictures will be at the end if I need to print them out or I can just access them in my email if I'm unsure about a description so all of these were well that was $1.99 all the rest of them were like $3.99 I believe yeah not not a bad price uh the Haunted Mansion lanyard was pretty cool it glows in the dark that one was only $7.99 and then uh the claw one was $3.99 it was having a hard time finding a price but it was $3.99 look at that oogie boogie pen that was pretty cool and that was $8.99 I think yeah I remember yay my memory is coming back to me. So exciting. Oh, and they've got frames. Arrow has been pretty much a staple for a while, but I feel like Bell and Tangled have been a little bit harder to locate, uh, at least when I have gone in shopping. So, and look at this, Dream Big Princess. This is cool. $9.99. There was some mugs that came out in that collection. So these are just so odd to me because here they say they're $7.99. Last time I bought them, I feel like some of them... They were stickered $9.99. And then these, these are easy to ship. These two are easy ship, $7.99. All of these are really easy to ship. The only one that's gonna cost you a little bit more to ship will be at the very bottom. And it's a longer type frame and it has four different cutouts with Space Mountain. And because it's a longer type frame, it's going to cost a little bit more because it's gonna, that's it right there. It was $12.99 and it is adorable. Um, however, just keep in mind, it's going to be a little bit pricier to ship that, uh, $7.99 for that really cool frozen kit. And these, they go in and out so quickly. These are kind of hard to get, to be honest, the pin trading book, $7.99, uh, all of the 
pencil holders. They've been here for a while. They're $7.99. The pens are coming back in stock. I, I like to see a good variety of the pens because a lot of you guys like to order these for filler items, I feel. $1.99, really good deal. And just a yeah, pretty good selection. They did have the ink and paint um, executive pen, which I thought was pretty cool. And I think I do a pretty nice close-up on it. I think it was normally like $35. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see the quality of the pen. It's really nice. Good, it would make a good gift or just something to spoil yourself with. Um, these are $10.99. I don't know why they haven't price shopped because they've been there since the beginning of time. The Star Wars ones, however, those are only $3.99. I'm looking for the price, but I know that they're $3.99, so there you go. There's that. Um, they don't have too many pop figures, just the same ones they've had for the last couple of months. They about six to seven ninety nine, and then Alice's twenty. The Alice pop figure you just saw was twenty six ninety nine, and the Abominable Snowman was nineteen ninety nine. A lot of different plushes still available. The Stitch and Angel are absolutely gorgeous. The video doesn't do them justice at all whatsoever. So most of the same plush still here four ninety nine, seven ninety nine. And on the flip side, Job of the Hut, I believe he's only $4.99. And the Americana Mickey, I was really shocked to see him at $4.99. That is one of those items that tend to sell quite quickly. So many ears at this location, just a, just a ton of them. You've got Rock the Dots, you've got the Mermaid ears, the Summer Fun ears, which do have the little inflatables, so you can blow them up even more if you wish. And the purple lavender ears, lots and lots of ears at this location. Good bit of socks, they're normally $2.99 to $4.99. The Winnie the Pooh ones I know are $4.99. Same with Jack Skellington, the mom socks are $2.99. So they got some decent socks going on over here. Keychains, $1.99, such a great deal. These were normally $15, really great deal to be honest. And $12.99 for the Toy Story wristlets which has been around for a little while. The Marie keychains, $3.99. And then the little photo frames, which are magnets, $5.99. But they also have a stand. They're very, they're kind of small. They're kind of tiny. So make sure you let me know which one you want if you are ordering those. Pixar autograph book is $3.99. All of the rest of them are $2.99. And the pencil cases, $7.99, Toy Story and Princess. Very, very cute. It has like a bunch of markers. Oh, that one is $9.99. I apologize. I thought they were $7.99. But a lot of different markers and fun things to keep your kids entertained and off the screen. And this is my favorite sock set, $14.99. I love all the socks in there. I actually have this, so worth it. I actually um, will show all of the socks in my violin video that should be coming out less than 24 hours from now because they all they had all the socks on display, which was pretty cool. Uh, this is cool. This is a whole gang of keychains. So this is great if you wanna like, $6.99. Like you could separate these keychains, give them to coworkers, use them as party favors. Like I thought that was a really cool idea actually. And then this was from Pandora, it's only $4.99. Button sets, $2.00, footballs, $6.00. They didn't have very many Magic Bands available. The Magic Bands are like $7.99, $8.99. They had a few available, the Halloween one, and then the tie they still had available. And this is so cool! This is $5.99, this is a Doom Buggy. It's a keychain that lights up. Obviously, I'm doing this one-handed and I always have a problem. It is very difficult to film one-handed. There we go, the magic of Disney. Wow, that was magical. <laughs> But this is really cool. You could like scare people. I don't know. Could you? Maybe. Maybe if a kid was like looking at it and just started glowing and then I don't know. Maybe not. But $6.99 for all of these cool card holders. That one was a harder one to get last time I went shopping because it kept selling out. The balloon one and that one as well. This one is $7.99 and the reason being is it's larger than the other ones if that makes sense. It's a bit larger. has a little bit more space. See? See the difference? There you go. <laughs> I was trying to show it. Madame Leota Haunted Mansion, it's such a good deal. Um, these have been around for a little while. They still have them in stock. And then we have all the lanyards are $4.99, the Silver Castle 2020, Dumbo. So yeah, there you have it, the lanyard holders. Diorama, 
$4.99. Small World Magnets, make sure you're very specific if you order those because uh, there was a couple different ones that came through. They had that particular style and then they had like little Small World button magnets. They were like $2.99, which sold out pretty quickly. I don't know if they've been going back and forth or not. I thought that was really cute, that Dapper Dan uh, phone case. I haven't seen those. And then the, those ears were $4.99. They were a little bit cheaper. Ink and Paint Hat, $7.99. So all these hats here are $7.99. And I didn't really see any, like, I feel like I only saw, like, maybe one. I thought maybe this one was a little newer. Not the vacation mode, but the that one with Mickey and Minnie. But it didn't feel like they had a bunch of new ones. The Pandora one had the ears on it, which I thought was cute. Great for cosplay or going into the parks. And they did have a few more towels. They had a Kuna Matata, the mini bows, summer fun. They only had a couple of the Eeyore and then they had the Mickey surfboard one. Uh, so they had a little bit more selection than the Vineland Road. And then a lot of shoes. The flip-flops are $4.99. The shoe sizes are very limited though. $14.99. You could try, but mm, they don't have like a ton of sizes available. The slides are $9.99. Be very specific with these hats because there's like, what, one, two, three, four different mini mouse hat, five different ones, and one's a visor. So be, please be very specific when ordering the mini mouse items. And look at this, I cannot believe these were here for $4.99. And these, oh my gosh, for $2.99, score. I grabbed some, I was so excited to see these because these are a hot commodity. They're the 20, this is really honestly going to be a souvenir. It's a 2020 Halloween party that never happened. It's an ornament. And it's adorable. It lights up and it's $2.99. Like, holy cow. I did grab 10 of those while I was in the store. So uh, the bags, they had the Daniel and Nicole Small World. They had the Haunted Mansion crossbody, the 50th. They had the Sketch crossbody uh, at the top. I believe all of those were like $1.14, I believe. A lot of new shirts available. I want to show you this. This is really cool. This is $9.99. It has multiple zipper pockets. I just think it's really cool. It's a crossbody. There's like a strap on the inside that you can take out. And it's just very lightweight and very cool. Lots of um, the neon collection has come in. Some of these items have been in the store for a little while. And then I feel like some of the items are also trickling in that I haven't seen before. Like this, these particular biker shorts. These are new, kind of 90s edition, $12.99. And don't forget, you guys, right now, during this video, at this point in time, unless they change it tomorrow, everything is 20% off if it's a clothing item. Not shoes, not ties, not masks, not purses. It has to be apparel, like a shirt, pants, um, hats are not included. So uh, a dress, all of these were new, really cute. Who remembers this? I totally remember this because I used to wear my shirts like this. I'm just saying. But uh, anyhow, please be very descriptive with the shirts. Um, with the clothing items, please be as descriptive as possible. Do not forget to include the sizes that you would like. Uh, very, very important. Sometimes people will forget sizes. Also, if you have a primary size, but you will take a different size if they had it, please note that on your order as well. Let's say... Some people like to wear sweatpants just around the house, like myself. If I were to wear sweatpants in public, I'd probably wear a small, maybe a medium. Um, if I was just using it around the house, I might even go up to a size large, just, you know, to loaf around in. So uh, make sure you put that on your order when you decide to order. Oh my gosh. Now here's all the new tank tops. And I am so excited because I love a good tank top. In Florida, it gets so hot. And all of these tank tops are so lightweight they're so soft and super flowy that you're just gonna want them. Like seriously, like, I don't see how you couldn't want them. Uh, these shirts right here are all newer shirts that I noticed. Uh, this is the Captain Marvel Seas. Thought that was the best deal, $4.99. Now some of these were older shirts. Sorry, not all of them are new. Some of them are new. <laughs> so I'm trying to show you all of the styles. I will admit, it is difficult to show you all the styles along with the prices every time. I try to do a, a good job because I know a lot of you guys love the shirts so much. Most of you guys don't really 
mind as much the price points because you know that it's on sale and you know it's at least 50% off. Um, if I find something that's an amazing deal, I always try to point that out. But the majority of the time, the t-shirts are $7.99 to $14.99. Um, the average price point being more of the $9.99 range or whatnot. So I'm doing this all one-handed and I'm trying to show off the prices, but sometimes it's not very easy. Some of these you guys have seen in the store for a while. Uh, this is my one of my favorite shirts, that Jasmine shirt. It is a Neff shirt, so it runs true to size. You will definitely need to get your size if it's if you order a Neff shirt. That's the brand. Uh, or one size up, to be honest. Uh, they did have some leggings, not very many. I was trying to zoom in on the sizing there. And some of these shorts, but they were all extra small. And I don't expect those to come in in bigger sizes. I just don't. I just don't have high hopes. Um, here are some of the other tank tops. I actually paid, <laughs> I actually paid that full price. I'm just kind of mad. I, I, I mean, I got my discount on it, but you know, it wasn't much of a discount. So, but these were all, I remember seeing these at Disney style and they're just so soft and so comfortable and so flowy. And honestly, they're like amazing tank tops. I'm not even going to lie. They're amazing. So this is new. This is $12.99. Um, I was trying to get out of this corner. This lady was like, get coming into my personal space. So <laughs> I left that area and now we're looking at the men's shirts. Um, so here's a little pro tip. A lot of the times when the men's shirts come in, you will have a full size run most of the time. Now, as they sit for a couple of days, depending on the shirt, the larger sizes go very quickly and you're only left with the smalls and the mediums. Uh, this shirt is great and it's $7.99. I was looking for the price point on it. It's called Timeless is the shirt with all the Mickey heads, Mickey and stuff like that on there. Um, but as, as the shirts sit for a while, yeah, you're normally going to see only smalls and large or smalls and mediums um, just because the larger sizes always tend to go quicker. All over goofy shirt has arrived. $12.99. Super cool. The all over shirts are pretty cool. That's also a new new shirt. They had a they did have a good bit of new clothing. However, I feel like sometimes the sizes are just they're limited. So having that second backup size always does help because sometimes they might have every size but the size that you need, and maybe you'll take an extra large t-shirt instead of a large. So always just put a secondary size if you feel ever so necessary. So I have some people that put three sizes on there. They'll be like, I want a large. And if you don't have a large, then I'll take a medium. If you don't have a medium, then I'll take an extra large. So feel free to do that. I don't, you know, I'm working for you. You are my uh, guest, my client, and my focus is to fulfill your order to the best of my ability. So, um, you know, if you have special preferences, please note that. Uh, actually, I like the more descriptive you are, the better it is, to be honest. Um, the Upcut Forever shirts, they hardly had any left, and they were all so cute. This is like just smalls, basically. Smalls and mediums in this corner. Just, ugh. I, I don't think we'll be seeing many more of these shirts come in, to be honest. So, yeah, they were all small. This is super cute. Bleh, super cute. Okay, so this, let me look at the price point. Because Vineland, it said... $14.99. It is $14.99. It's a, it's a sleep set and it comes with little shorts. So Vineland, they had them priced at $19.99, but I know that was wrong. This Disney mom shirt, if you're not an extra small, don't order it. They're not going to get any more in. It's been sitting for a while and I've only seen the extra smalls, to be honest. These are so cute. Now I do keep seeing the sizes uh, fluctuate with these long sleeve t-shirts from time to time. Mostly smalls, but sometimes they get another other size shirts. This shirt's been sitting here forever. They need a discount to 99 cents. Seriously. No, I'm just saying. And then I have to move because this other person was like crowding my space. So um, <laughs> they did have a couple spare jerseys available. The ink and paint shirt is amazing. It's 19.99. The pullover ink and paint gray pullover. It fits. It the video doesn't do it justice. I got it for myself. It fits amazing. The quality is amazing. I just can't speak highly enough of that. Um, they only had a couple available here, but I did notice a little bit more size selection and Vineland when I went over to that store later that evening. Uh, this particular, uh, I just can't believe they had good sizes left in that. And I have in the compass jacket, the spirit jerseys, 
uh, they were all extra small. Just just heads up, they're all extra small. So don't get too excited. <laughs> I actually didn't pick them up. Um, I don't think I, I might have a couple. These are the windbreakers they have on hand. I love the Fab Five shirts. Fab Five shirts available. Toy Story, only size small. It does run big. That's uh, meant for Michelle Wagner if you are watching that. <laughs> because I think she always orders the size that they don't have, but they do run a little bit on the bigger size. So the coral, this was really cute. That was a new one as well, 40th Empire Strikes Back. Newer, I can't say newer. Lots of tank tops over here. They were very crammed into the wall. So it was kind of hard to, I'm trying my best to pull one out to show you how it looks, <laughs> how they look. This one's been around for a while. Then we had, this one had more size, sizes in it this time, Disney State of Mind. As you can see, it went up to extra large, it looks like. And then this one, they had a few different sizes in it. It's a tank top, it's the Food and Wine Festival. Super cute tank top. I thought it was really adorable, to be honest. And this one, only a couple sizes. I actually bought that, like, two years ago, full price. Ugh. Um, some of the red tank tops, very cute. One's Mickey Mouse, one's Minnie Mouse. This is coral. You can't, it's hard to tell with the lighting, but it's coral, home sweet home. It's like a coral pink color. Gray with the mini bows. Mickey USA, it's a cold shoulder top. Very cute. Only $7.99, which is great. Soaring had a uh, Decent size range with that. The pair of shirts dropped in price. After the 20% off, it makes it only $7.20. And these have been around for a while along with that. It's been a while. Blah, 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 for a while. All right, so moving right along, we got some really cute Minnie Mouse tops. I would be very descriptive with those, even to the point of bringing a picture as an attachment. A lot of these clothing items, if... It's not cut and dry, or if you see many of them that have Mickey or Minnie Hot Mouse and are red, I would definitely get a screenshot as well. I apparently was having difficulties filming. I think somebody was trying to walk around me, and I was like, this one, everybody wants this shirt. And every time I go in, I can never find the sizes that you guys need. And there was just one shoved in there. Um, it was that rock and Oh, and I love this one. I own this. Oh, that yellow jasmine shirt. I just love it so much. But uh, yeah, these are the shirts that are available. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's hard doing a voice voiceover sometimes going in 32 minutes. But so far, I've been trying to be as descriptive as possible. And um, I would do this in this store. I would just talk throughout the video as I was making the video. The only problem is at this location, the music is extremely loud. So one, it's hard to talk over. I have to be very loud throughout the video and my mask and a lot of times my video will get a copyright strike if it picks up the merchandise and normally the music is so loud in the store that at this point I don't have a choice but to do a voiceover unless I'm just showing quick individual items but it's been a while and I felt that you guys really needed to see a full store tour I mean it's just it's just been way too long but look at baby Yoda Grogu Grogu is his name oh he's so precious <laughs> he's so stinking cute the retro mickey shirts which you know what guys i think that those were actually real retro shirts and the reason i say this is i saw a commercial dated back and i don't know when it was dated back to maybe the 90s 80s even i don't know but i saw i swear that retro shirt with all those colors in it so i feel like they actually were created a long time ago Originally, this was new. I thought that was really cute. It's a nice ringer shirt, great quality, $12.99. And then all of these shirts I've seen before, all of the different um, rainbow ones, and be very specific as well with the rainbow ones. There's like four or five different styles. Um, I would definitely include a screenshot. You know, if you ever think that you're not describing something, definitely, definitely just add a screenshot at the end of the order. Indiana Jones hoodie, I think all he had was small left. Yeah, those were in 1999. And, oh gosh, just so many, like, so much, so much clothes. They really did have a lot of clothes. And it's cool 
that they're all 20% off because this is something that has not happened that I've ever seen happen. So I think it's a great deal. I love this shirt. I got that for my dad for Christmas as well. $7.99 Star Wars. They had a few of the Mandalorian shirts. Please be very descriptive because as you can see, there's, you know, Empire Strikes, Empire Strikes Back shirt. Um, they're, they, when you describe them, they could be described, see, Mandalorian. I could, we could mess it up. So be very descriptive in colors. If you put colors on the shirt, like I want the gray Mandalorian distress t-shirt that has the silver metal head. What is that? Mask frame. <laughs> Mask frame. <laughs> the helmet <laughs> on the shirt. Things like that. Um, putting the color on it really does help a lot, I feel, sometimes. Because, I don't know. If you say a blue Mickey Mouse shirt, other than the Mickey Mouse shirt, then that would definitely help a lot more. Um, they did have some dress shop dresses. They did have a few of the onesies available. The Vineland Road location did have quite a few of the unicorn. They This location had only a couple of sizes available of the Sally dresses. I did grab the two that they had. They were size large, so I just figured I better grab them. The Flamingo dress was extra small, $34.99. Can't beat that. And they had, oh my gosh, the Jack Skeleton Mittens finally have reduced in price. They're $2.99. They were $5 for like two years, I swear. So they had a big bin of those. The car zip kit was $7.99. This has been a very popular shirt, but it's only in a size small, unfortunately. They had this cute Alaska shirt. Super, super cute. Disney Cruise Line. This is my summer home. I think all of those were a small. Lost My Temper shirt was $7.99. Donald Duck. They, I think they had a few uh, of larger sizes in the Donald one. I'm not 100% sure on that. This one's been around for a while. I didn't see a ton of new t-shirts available. This one they only had small in. I know, Kendra, you've been ordering that one forever, I feel like. and Oh, they did have extra large. Um, but I think Kendra wants a double X. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but I always feel like a size she wants, they never have. Same with that one. Um, it's always small, small, small. Raiders of the Lost Ark shirt, super cute. The resting grumpy face, that's cute. So, was it $7.99 or $9.99? I don't know, I couldn't see it, I'm so sorry guys. This shirt is the three, I like that shirt too. The three Cab Caballeros shirt is a ringer shirt. I feel like that is a really gonna be a popular shirt in general. The Tigger all over shirt. Made in the 70s. I think all of those were small. I think all of these are small shirts, to be honest. A couple of bigger sizes, but a lot of them are small, to be honest. Here are the phone cases available for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> a couple otter boxes available. You might be able to zoom in to see what the case size is on those. The um, keychains available, nothing majorly new. I always like this one, it's so cute because it has the little saying on the back and it's only $3.99, super, super cute. I saw another keychain, oh yeah, this one. It's like a leather type kind of compass with the silver. I don't know, I thought it was super cute. These are all $3.99, really good deal. The bruise one right there, which is a can opener, is $1.99. That was from Epcot Food and Wine. And Orange Bird, they only had for that particular size phone, though. They didn't have any for the larger size, newer edition phones. Uh, I'm having a Dory moment. I need that as a t-shirt. Haunted Mansion keychain, $5.99. Um, that's been around for a while, but it keeps kind of going in and out of the store. This was $2.99, very random, kind of a hair clip. Don't know where it came from. Maybe Polynesian. I don't know. It, had, it was kind of like a Polynesian flyer. This was really heavy and really cool. Maybe it's a bottle opener. I don't know. But it's definitely a magnet. Uh, these are cool. I've seen the little Stitch ones before. But I hadn't seen the Donald Duck ones or the Goofy or Mickey. I don't feel like I have. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Who knows? But uh, here's <laughs> here's a few more of the patches and the U-Gear keychains as well. Very, 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 $14.99, I believe, all those prices. Look at the Kermit one. 
more phone cases. The Dapper Dan was the newest one that I've personally seen within the store. I thought it was really cute. The dog collection. They had the Haunted Mansion Bowl, Star Wars $7.99. They had the ears for the dogs. The collar accessory was $2.99. The leashes are $4.99. And the um, dog collar, I'm sorry, the leashes were $6.99. And the collars were $4.99. And here's a look at all their backpacks. The majority are um, $9.99, except they think that one was $19.99. Yeah. The basic backpacks were $9.99 that I showed uh, just a second ago. The Indiana Jones is like a satchel. I feel like it's good for like a pin, like like a pin book, maybe. If you guys trade pens. Um, rock and roller coaster bag. I really was having a difficult time. I didn't drop this on the floor, but I was trying to help out the cast members. And it was just, like, not wanting to stay whatsoever. It was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> this is kind of cool. That one was only $14.99. Um, some of the hats we have. All the hats and gloves are $7.99. This is my favorite one, my happy place. So cute. They had the Jack Skellington, and they also had the Bone Daddy one. These are the hair accessories for $4.99. And then also all of the headbands for $7.99. Small World and Haunted Mansion available. The ponchos, uh, really great deal. These are high-end ponchos for $19.99. They had Mickey and I think that was the mini one I'm holding in my hand. Um, so they do run by sizes like small, medium, large, extra large, something like that. And they are like amazing. I've never seen those in the store. Those are super high quality. I would definitely jump on those. Um, well, you can, because if you come and visit down here in the summertime, it will rain every day. It pretty much rains every day for at least 20 to 30 minutes. So at least if you have the poncho, you can go and visit uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You could go walk to another ride that's indoors. Um, all of these are great, just amazing, amazing deal because you can break those sets up and make Christmas ornaments out of them. It's really simple. You can just go, they had the cocoa, they had the inside out, and you can break them open and add little ribbons and wham, instant Christmas ornaments. Like seriously, that would save a ton of money um, because normally just one of those Christmas ornaments costs $25 if you go to the uh, 12 Days of Christmas down at Disney Springs. So they had a lot of different sets available. The hands, I thought, were a great deal. The Iron Man's ones were $7.50. Black Panther was $9.99. The Spider-Man one, I think, was also $7.50, which was just an amazing deal. I think these might be getting overlooked because Christmas just passed, and I think a lot of people uh, were not, you know, particularly looking for toys. Uh, the Big Feet, Thumper, and Cheshire Cat, those sell very quickly. So feel free to put them on your list, but I, sometimes they're just really, really, they sell really quickly. So, and over here, we've got the Graduation Mickey and Minnie for $4.99, which was kind of surprising, to be honest. They had a decent collection with the kids' clothing. I didn't go through all of them, only because... I don't have a lot of you guys ordering the uh, kids' clothing, and I didn't see off the top a ton of, like, new, new items. Um, however, these were super cute, so I had to show these off. I thought <laughs> they were just so adorable not to. Um, and I knew that the video was going to be hitting about an hour. So if I knew if I showed the entire kids' side, it would probably be, like, an hour and a half video. I know you guys love watching it, but I also wanted to have time to go over to Vineland to shoot the videos. The jackets, I couldn't recommend enough. Listen, guys, these jackets are great for Halloween, Halloween parties, to wear it to school, um, just great for cosplay. I mean, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, and some of these were normally like 50, 60 jackets. I can't recommend them enough. Like, look at this. Look at the quality. I mean, Rocket from, um, yeah, that movie. I can't think of the name of it. I can see it in my head with with the guy <laughs> that's what happens when you get older you have that moment <laughs> they had two uh they had two videos oh my goodness I can't think and I can see with Groot and I can't even think Rocket and I can't even think of the name of the video anyways okay Alex and Ani's 
Uh, I can't remember what she said. I think they were $14.99 or $15.99. This necklace, uh, it is $800 marked down from $1,000, $800. And it's just $2,019. The Bolivia watches are $200. Uh, that's definitely something uh, that I would highly recommend. Pandora charms. I was kind of shocked because the second one that I'm about to show you was only $14.99. There it is right there. Couldn't believe it. $14.99. I was, it was a Mickey, well, it was like a, like a Mickey head hat, mini head. It was a mini, it was a mini ear hat because the Mickey one was $34.99. Isn't that crazy? It's weird. I don't know. I was having a hard time filming these. $34.99. Uh, <laughs> that was a flower and garden. Sorry guys. Um, okay. Pins. So these were half price. I think they were $16.99 limited edition. Yeah, I'm zooming in over there. Yep, $16.99 because they weren't tagged individually and I knew I would forget the price. All of these were exactly half price. So this collection here would have been $53.99. And then you had this collection. So cute. Oh my gosh. This one was $49.99. It's like only 1,500 of those were made. And the big Disneyland pin, look how cool. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Oh my gosh. That one was $53.99. Only 1,000 of those were made. And then you have this set over here, which I believe she said was like 15. All right, guys. So if you want to place an order, very, very important. Must have all the details. You must have your name, your address, your phone number. This is important because if I need to contact you while we are shopping um, for a substitute item or a different size or something like that, or a clarification, um, please make a list of items that you would like, a wish list. And basically, we try to get these items. Now, normally we can't get everything on your wish list only because of the amount of people that go in and out of the stores on a daily basis and how many people want these items. So we do our very best to get you everything possible. Um, those are the most important things. If you are watching this video and you live out of country, I do ship internationally, but please, please, please be aware that I pay for all the shipping costs up front. And the shipping cost that I get charged is what you get charged. I don't pay, I don't charge you tons more money just to ship. Um, however, shipping to the UK is quite, quite expensive. So I highly encourage you guys to maybe look into a third party shipping site called myus.com. Stackery is another one. There's a, a couple other ones. Now, if you decide to use one out of the state of Florida, the shipping cost will be a little bit higher. So for example, if you use myus.com, well, I'm only shipping it to Sarasota. It may only cost me $8 to ship it personally there compared to like New Hampshire or um, a different state where it might cost double the amount or triple the amount. Uh, so there's that. Um, also keep in mind uh, when you're ordering items, the weight of the items, the sizes of the boxes I use, I, I, I tend to try to play Tetris with all of the items and get them all in one box. However, there are items that are just really long that I can't get in a 12 by 12 by 12. Anyhow, we are shopping for you next week, so I hope you found some goodies to order. I'm going to be posting some more goodies in my Facebook group that I have on hand that I consider more of the hotter merchandise that's really hard. It's harder. It's more challenging to get a hold of, I should say. So anyhow, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget that every day is a gift, so have faith and share the joy. Also, another major thing, I know so many of you watch and see what comes in and out of this warehouse, and just because I'm not personally in the store shopping that particular week doing a big pickup haul doesn't mean that I have, I'm have i getting my hands on this hot merchandise. And you will see once you go into my group, some of the items that we were able to accumulate. Um, just so excited uh some of the stuff that we got this week so um yeah so there's that if you want to update um let's say you placed the order a couple weeks ago and you see more items and you want to update all you need to do is go into your outbox and find that sent email and click reply once you click reply copy and paste the original list then add on the more of the items that you would 
like for me to look for. Therefore, when I go and print out your list, it's all on one paper, it's neat and organized. If you can double space it, that would be great because a lot of times I write notes on the on your actual order. I pencil it in if I got it, I pencil in the price. So I, you know, having that little extra space, it does help me a little bit. If you forget, no big deal. Um, but I'm so excited. All right, so hope that helps you out. Bleh guys out if you need to send picture attachments there's a lot of new clothing um i would definitely put those at the very very end so we can have a reference to them uh, i would rather not try to print out 25 um pages of attachments so a lot of times i will write on your thing oh i've got pictures so if i need to in the store i can look them up and see what pictures um to refer to on these clothing anyhow hopefully that made sense <laughs>